Rabbi Hezekiah opened his discourse to explain the apparent contradiction between the verse, In the greatness of your majesty you destroyed your enemies, Exodus 15, verse 7, and the verse, Why do stand you off far away, God? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble, Psalms 10, 1, at the time that the iniquities of the world cause a weakening of the manifestation of the powers of holiness. God ascends higher and higher, and people shed tears and cry, yet there is no one to pay attention to them. What is the reason? Because he has ascended higher and higher, and repentance is withheld from them as it is written. And in the abundance of your majesty you have overthrown those that rose up against you. Rabbi Yitzchak, who disagrees, holding that those that rose up against you are the nations of the world, said, This verse refers to the time when God will dress himself with majestic pride at the end of days, please God now, over the nations that shall gather against him as it is written. Why do the nations rage and the princes take counsel together against God and against his anointed? Psalm chapter 2, 1 and 2. As we have learned, in the future, 70 generals of armies of all the nations shall gather from every side at that time with the hosts of the entire world to wage war against Jerusalem, the holy city, and to plot against God. They will complain against unjust favoritism because God will raise up Israel above the nations who will see them as unworthy of this. What do they say? Let us take vengeance against the patron first, and then against his people and his sanctuary. Interestingly, this implies that the Jews will reclaim the Temple Mount, and this may be the catalyst to make the nations rage. Then God will laugh at them as it is written. He who sits in the heavens laughs. God mocks them, Psalm 2, 4. At that time, God will don majestic pride against them and will destroy them from the world, as it is written. And this shall be the plague with which God will smite all the people that gathered in armies against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall be consumed while they stand upon their feet, Zechariah 14, 12. Rabbi Abba quoted Rabbi Yisa Saba, the elder, and also Rabbi Shimon said, God shall resurrect all those kings that distressed Israel and Jerusalem, like Adranus and Lupinus from Rome as an example, Nebuchadnezzar from Babylon, which is nowadays is Iraq, who destroyed the first temple, Sanakrib from Ashur, nowadays known as Iraq, Syria, and northwest Iran, who exalted the ten tribes and all the other kings of the world that took part in the destruction of his house. Then he will provide them with a governing dominion as before, and the rest of the nations will gather with them. God will take revenge on them openly around Jerusalem. This is the meaning of, and this shall be the plague with which God will smite all the peoples that have fought against Jerusalem. Is it not written that will fight, but rather that have fought? Then it is written, And in the abundance of your pride you have overthrown them that rose up against you. This is written about the time when Moshek will come, and the song is a never-ending song. What does this mean to you, and why is it revealed to you now?